This can be some of the darkest, bleakest time in a child's life when they experience being removed from their family. When you have children who have experienced that trauma and they don't have the coping skills to, to help them navigate that, they need somebody to step in and help them. Currently, we have about 6,000 children that are in care, and at this time, we only have about 2,700 homes to meet that need throughout our state. So we are desperately needing foster homes to help care for the children that we, that we do have in care. We have siblings that are, you know, three, four, five, six siblings in one family that we are having to split and that makes it very hard on the children, it makes it hard on the families. Often we are having to place African American children in Caucasian homes. We also have the need for families who will take children 10 years and older. Well, we met our, our two boys that we ended up adopting. They were five and 10 when they first came to us and they're now 21 and 16. We, our oldest, he decided, you know, college wasn't for him. He's now, you know, working and putting money aside to help, you know, start his life. And our 16-year-old, you know, he's out there living his best life, playing baseball. We've, we've had our challenges. We can definitely say we've had our challenges. It gave us the opportunity to build our family, um, which a lot of families do get into foster care for that reason. There is such a need to for foster parents, step up and give it a try. We provide training, we provide education, we provide supports. Even if you can't do long-term fostering, there are other opportunities to help. You can be a respite provider where you're just helping other foster homes for the weekend, you know, take on a child or two and, and just have like a sleepover. Or there's more of the, the short term where you're just taking placements for, you know, a couple weeks at a time just while we're trying to make that more long-term placement. Um, there's emergency foster care where you can just take placements night to night. Being able to provide that forever, no matter what, connection for a child is one of the most rewarding things that a family could offer. Um, not only is, are you providing a safe and loving environment for that child, but your family can also experience great changes. I've talked to numerous foster families that I've talked about how fostering has impacted their children and how they have learned to have empathy and how they are willing to, you know, make more changes than what often adults are to help a child in need. Um, so yeah, you're, you're looking at a, a lifelong um, fulfillment of helping a child um, and giving back to your community. Go to susanskids.org to find out how you can give a child a temporary home by being a foster parent. Susan's Kids, sponsored by Brandon Stephen Motors. <music>